everybody! Today I'm going to be reviewing the Sabine Underbuzz Corset by Scandals Keep. And Scandals Keep is an independent corset maker based in St. Paul, Minnesota in the United States. So here is the front, the side, the back, and the other side. I purchased this corset secondhand from somebody else in probably what was my most spontaneous large purchase ever, but I could not pass up the chance to try the Sabine Underbust because I've been looking at uh, underbust corsets with shoulder straps to help the posture for a very long time, and in particular I've been looking at the Sabine for probably a couple of years now. But because this corset was purchased from somebody else, it means that it was made for their measurements and not my own. So whereas I would usually wear a size 22 or 24 in underbust corsets, I believe this is a size 26 and it was custom made for somebody else's measurements. So I believe that uh, the waist area is about 26 inches, the underbust area is around 29 inches, and around the iliac crest is about 33. So the underbust and the hip measurements are actually not too far off from my own natural measurements, uh, but the waist is quite a bit larger than I would usually take. However, I could easily wear this on days that I feel a little bit bloated or that I don't even particularly feel like being cinched in, but I desire the posture support when I'm sitting at my desk. So there is that silver lining. In terms of the length, the center front here is 10 and a half inches. The side is seven and a half inches, so it hits me like a cincher. And if you only take the corset itself into account, count, uh, not the harness. I believe the center back is about 15 inches. If you do take the harness into account, it starts at about 19 inches. However, because of these uh, adjustable straps in the front and the back, you can actually lengthen it if you have a longer torso. So you could probably lengthen it up to uh, probably close to around 21 or 22 inches. So here is the Sabine corset laid flat. And for the materials of this, there are three main layers in this corset that I feel. And uh, the fashion fabric is this lovely maroon dupioni silk. And then when I feel in between the layers, I feel a very uh, strong and quite thick actually interlining that must be the strength layer. And then on the inside is this uh, cute sort of dotted uh, light cotton lining here. For the pattern of this corset, the main underbust area is five panels, one, two, three, four, five, and the panels are fairly straightforward. They all seem to go down uh, quite vertically here. And, uh, sorry about the noise, uh, this harness area here also seems to be one panel drafted as well. And for the assembly of this corset, it seems as though the fashion fabric, this silk here, and the strength fabric were flatlined and treated as one and the panels were assembled on the seams here using a lock stitch instead of a top stitch because these seams are very, very uh, flat. So I don't think that they actually uh, pressed both seam allowances to one side. I think they were pressed open. And then there are two very close together lines of stitching that run down on either side of that seam there, I guess, to keep that seam nice and flat and pressed open. And then this corset was double boned on the seams here, possibly uh, using the seam allowances themselves because all of the seams are very straight and tidy. And uh, I don't see any boning channel stitches on the inside here, so the lining is semi-floating. And I'm feeling underneath here to see if there's a waist tape in this corset that is stitched invisibly, and I don't think there is one. I think that uh, it's just the, the wrinkle in the fabric right there that's showing through, and it's not actually the outline of the waist tape. Here's a close-up of the binding, and on this corset, it is made from this fuzzy fabric. So it's not suede, it's just this sort of very soft, fuzzy, felted fabric. Uh, and it's machine stitched on the outside here and also on the inside. And the inside, uh, it's not actually folded underneath and stitched. It, the inner edge is left raw. However, because this looks, looks like a knitted fabric, it's not actually fraying. And additionally, there are uh, six little D-rings here attached on the bottom, uh, three on each side. And I suppose you could use this for garters if you wanted, but I would probably like fix some, some doodads on here, like carry around my Chatelaine or other steampunky stuff. <laughs> 
There's no modesty panel that came in the back of this corset and uh, also no modesty placket that came underneath the zipper here. But because this interlocks, as zippers do, uh, then when it's actually done up, there is not much in the way of actually, you know, skin or clothing peeking through uh, underneath this zipper. So all you need to do is make sure that nothing is getting pinched or, or caught in the zipper itself. And once it's done up, you don't need to worry about uh, any gaps in the front of the corset the way that some busks show. And speaking of the zipper, because there's no busk in the front here, it is a very heavy duty zipper. And I'm trying to find the, the brand of this, but but it's not marked on the the pull tab here there's just a, a little C on the back and it, that might be 10 inches right there that little 10 imprinted right there so unfortunately I don't know the brand of this uh, zipper but it is very very heavy duty and it looks like it is staying in quite well especially considering the fact that this corset was secondhand so it has been well loved by another person and there's a quarter inch wide flat steel bone running on either side of this zipper here and this prevents any stress and strain of the fabric around the zipper it prevents the zipper from being uh, ripped out or any seams being ripped out uh, as I imagine that this zipper is so strong that it's likely that the seams would fail before the actual teeth of the, of the zipper do um, and it just keeps the the fabric around it just nice and flat and smooth there are 22 bones in this corset, 11 on each side. So double boned on the seams here are quarter inch wide steel bones. They all attract the magnet here. And it seems that they are all uh, flat steel bones. I could be mistaken, but they all feel like flexible flats. And I noticed that all of the seams are very straight as well. So two, four, six, eight. And then in the back here are two more uh, quarter inch wide flat steel bones as well as this one quarter inch wide flat by the zipper like I just mentioned. And taking some time to appreciate this uh, harness here so you can see that it's held on with six different buckles here. If you wanted to you can take all of these off and wear the corset without the harness. So I'm going to just show that to you. Also the laces here are separate. You can adjust these laces independently of the laces of the rest of the corset here. So uh, when you actually remove this, then the buckles are going to stay on the rest of the corset. But um, if say, you know, you don't like the feeling of the, the harness or the straps or whatever, uh, you're absolutely not required to wear it that way. And there we go. And here you can see the harness or the shoulder straps by itself and it seems to be a, a one panel pattern so a, a piece on each side here. Uh, these straps look to be genuine leather actually and they are riveted on this one in five different places, uh, these smaller ones in two different places here. Like I mentioned before uh, the laces here are laced independently of the rest of the corset so if you have very broad shoulders you can adjust it or more narrow one you can pull it in a little bit more. Uh, as well these little uh, buckles or belt straps are adjustable as well so if you have a longer torso like I do you can make it a little bit looser if you're a little bit shorter through the waist and through the shoulders then you can tie a little bit tighter so what I actually really like about this I wore this corset for a few hours while I was just sitting at my desk and I just had perfect posture the entire time it was pretty much effortless and when I finished that little seasoning session and I took the corset off, I noticed that I didn't have that same sort of soreness in the back of my neck that I usually do if I'm just hunching at my desk because uh, this pulls my shoulders back and it really opens up the chest area. So it's very, very good for posture support. I can definitely say that. Now this would admittedly be pretty difficult and bulky to wear underneath your clothes to work if you wanted to practice proper posture at your work desk all day. However, uh, if you do a lot of work at home or if you are uh, just playing on your computer in the evenings or even if you're a gamer and you want to have proper posture while you're gaming and you know, you're sitting for hours at a time, this would be very useful I would think. And here's a close-up of the grommet. So there are a total of 34 of them, 17 on each side because the back is so high in this corset. Uh, they are size double zero with a medium flange around them and finished in silver. I recognize these as being the brand of grommets that is so popular amongst uh, American corset makers here. And they are all set equidistantly, um, even at the waistline here, they're about an inch apart. And here is the back of the grommet, so you can see nice big washers. They're all holding in very well. They're all set very securely. I don't see any uh, fraying or damage to the fabric around the washer here. You can see some fuzzies here. That is just when they actually set the grommet in to the fabric. 
uh, but I don't see any grommets actually pulling away from the fabric. Um, there are a few splits in these, but for the most part, they have all rolled really nicely and they all seem to be holding in very well. The Sabine Underbust finished in the silk like this starts at $340 US, or if you want it finished in leather, you can get this for $390 US. And this concludes my review of the Sabine Underbust Corset by Scandrels Key. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you didn't, please remember to click that like button and help support the channel. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to get back to you, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!